right, it has been a while here on Alpine Garage, so we decided that we would go and throw a rack on. So let's go get this done. We have partnered with Badass Tents on this. Uh, they have a super low profile rack, which is something that we were looking for. It'll hold the tent that we're looking to put on it, kayaks that we're looking to put on it, bikes that we're looking to put on it, so forth and so on. This particular rack comes in this one box. We got a second box with an attachment that goes onto it where you can put a Rotopax can on it for some additional fuel because we're getting a motorcycle rack for the back of the Bronco. Uh, that way we can put a couple of motorcycles on the back and then that additional fuel will likely be for those motorcycles. So we thought this would be a great way to go. We're gonna go ahead and build this today so that you can see kind of what the process is. Ship small, it looks like it's gonna be an easy build. Let's get going. We've got everything laid out here. We've got the side stays, we've got the crossbars, which are right here. Crossbars being extruded aluminum actually have a pretty fantastic little cross section there. You can see it. So you can tell these things are beefy. 650 pounds static. 650 pounds. That's a lot. It's actually gone up. I don't want to say that looking at the website uh, initially, which was probably six months ago, it was at 500, then it went to 550, now it's at 650. So they're doing a lot of testing on this, obviously. You've got your short rack side panels here. These go in the back. And then, and that's part, that's part of this right here actually as well. This is all one piece. And I'll get into that a little bit more. And then you have the back cap attachments here. And then you've got the front connection right here on this front stay. The kits, when you buy them now, actually come with caps for the front so it actually covers it, makes it a little bit nicer. And then it also comes with a wind deflector. Plus we have a light bar that's going to go on it as well. Plus we'll also be adding the Rotopax accessories and I'm probably even going to buy a Molly kit for it as well. I may just, you know, rig it out complete badass. Make it as badass as it can possibly be. In this case, all we have to do is start installing it. This is really super easy. It looks like all the hardware is stainless steel. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to install the rear, the short kit first, so you can see what the short kit looks like. And then I'm gonna install the full kit on it so you can see what the full kit looks like. Now with this panel, with this rack, you can also take the front two sections of the roof off with a, with a four door, which is what we're really looking forward to. And if you wanted to, you can leave the front stays off and just have the back rack on and have the front two sections of the roof panels off. And that way you can have a small rack in the back and have it completely open with no rack over the top of you. So it's very uh, modular from that standpoint. Modular, modular, it's very modular. So you can see up front here where you have two different stays. I believe one is steel and one's aluminum. They are specific about saying that steel and aluminum is going to be stronger, which obviously it is. So that's going to mount just like that. The reason why that's important is when you come to the back here, you're going to notice how it just kind of uh, stops a little bit short right there. And that is so this panel right here can go in. So that's where this guy, we're going to slide this out of the way for a second. So this is the back cap piece right here, so that goes right in there, right? You can kind of see what I'm doing right there. And then this piece right here goes over the top of that, and then you can see kind of how that sits flush just like that when you have the entire rack together. Now if you're just going to put the back rack on, meaning just this back half, you're going to pull this off, obviously this rack right here, this front one is going to go away. So this is the way we're going to run it in the winter a lot when we, when we ski. That's what this plate is for. This plate right here actually comes in, fills this gap right there, and then this plate goes over the top of it. And that is what the outside of the rack is going to look like right there if you're just going to do a half rack. So we're going to start out with a half rack, we're going to mount it up, and then we're going to do the full rack. Now the stays that go across the crossbars are numbered one through six. And the reason why is because as you go to the back, obviously you start adding metal towards the back of the rack for the half rack. So these, these stays are gonna be a little bit shorter for the back than they will be for the front. Now this is all that comes with the instructions, which is basically looks like, a, a, like a, an engineering design. But really this is all you need. It's a pretty simple rack. The first thing you need to know is that there are two rails like I was showing you before. The inside rail actually connects to the Bronco on the front. The outside rail just connects to the inside rail. 
The outside rail is uh, cut a little bit short right here. So it can mate with their rear bracket right here. You've got two separate sets of brackets here. The front bracket uh, right here is called the uh, center bracket and it is the longer of the two brackets. The shorter bracket goes on the back. So that's the short bracket, long bracket. And when you're looking at them, this would be the short bracket, this would be the long bracket. So you can see there's only a few millimeters worth of difference between the two. But the short bracket goes in the back, the long bracket goes in the front. And there are the different screws. So you've got the 30 millimeter screws, you've got the 20 millimeter screws, which is the bulk of the screws, and then you've got the 16 millimeter screws as well. And then all of the crossbars come marked. For instance, there's number five, there's number one, so forth and so on. One from the front all the way to six in the back. So it's very easy to figure out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna build this rack one side in the garage and then I'm gonna put it on the vehicle because you have to build it on the vehicle in order to get it to sit right. And I'm gonna grab one of the short brackets and I'm gonna put the short bracket. The short bracket actually goes on the inside just like this. So I'm gonna mash those holes up. You're gonna need a four millimeter Allen and then you're also going to need a 10 millimeter, either a socket. We're going to just use a regular box wrench there. The 30 millimeter are going to go in the center. So they're going to go through like that because that's what goes into the actual crossbar. So you can see that you've got quite a bit of it that's going to go into the crossbar. And then the two smaller set, the two 20 millimeter are going to go in the sides here. And those are going to go straight into one of the nuts that comes with it. These are 10 millimeter nuts. Now, all of these are going to get some blue Loctite and that will keep them from rattling loose on the trail. So there's no torque specs on this. You are bolting into aluminum, so just be be wary of that. I would imagine it probably isn't too hard to strip these. Good and tight. We'll do the front on this side as well and then we'll move to the Bronco. Looks like a nice setup. Uh, I think those 30 millimeter bolts are probably just fine for the 650 pound low rating that is going to be on these things. So now, since we're going to be doing the short rack first, I'm actually going to grab a long bracket for this back here. And that's what this is. So this is the spacer that goes in here when you don't have the front rack on. So I'm going to try this first. Then I'm going to take it all apart and I'm going to put the long rack on. So that's how that goes, just like that. And then we're going to grab the number five. This is called the short front bar. So this rack now is ready to go on the truck. And then we're going to put on the other side when we get out there. that's completely flat and then there's a rail that's obviously got the mount for the front windshield on it right here well the the outside rail is the one that's flat so that'll go on the outside there are six 16 millimeter screws right here these are to these go in three spaces one uh, on the back and then two on the front to keep the two rails together so we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, three of those for this side right here and then three locking nuts, some Loctite, and then we're gonna put this rail together real quick. If you're not putting on the wind deflector, which I'm not right now, then we're just gonna go ahead and put these on. All right, so there we got that state put together. We're gonna do the other state just the same. So we're gonna take our number one front, which is this guy right here, and I'm gonna start buttoning this up from front to back, uh, and then I'm gonna take the entire thing in one piece 
I'm gonna take the entire thing in one piece to the Bronco. Come on, man. <laughs> like fighting me. At this point, one of the tips that I gave you earlier that I didn't listen to was don't tighten down these three bolts that put the two rails together uh, before you put the crossbars on because sometimes when you have two pieces of metal the holes don't line up you're not able to push a screw through very well. So now I'm going to loosen these just a little bit and then I'll retighten them when we're done here and that should align things much better. Now this blade right here you can see where there's a cutout in the outside rail. This right here is going to take the place of that spacer that we put in when we built the short rack. So we're going to then take the four screws out of the short rack that's on the vehicle right now and then we're going to take the spacer out slide this rack in, put the four bolts back in, and then we're going to be good. So that's how easy it is to add or remove the front rack on this Badass Tents Bronco rack. Take that spacer out. It doesn't want to take it off. It's because you're tightening it. Yeah, the little spacer comes off. And you're just going to set it right over the screw holes. There we go. You got it? Yeah. But you got it! Those two. You got to figure out a decal. Pretty fast. And last but not least, we opted for the Badass Tents accessory rack. This is specifically made for the Rotapax fuel and water containers. We went ahead and got a two gallon fuel and a two gallon water. And we're gonna put them both onto this bracket with an extension. Uh, we may actually add a second one here as well. You're gonna add up to four, so you can add one here, one there, and then one on the other side. They also have coming out here pretty soon a Molly panel which will actually kind of block this window right here. Or you can put traction boards, something like that. Or you can just literally put anything molly you want to on the side of it. So we may do that on the other side as well. Now in order to get this on, it's really easy. You can see where it's cut out right here for the two bolts that go into the crossbar. And so you don't have to take the crossbar off. These other two bolts right here are only 16 millimeter that are in the rack right now. So it comes with 25 millimeter bolts to go on the outside. So you'll just pull these out, these two out, and replace those with the 25 millimeter up there. On the bottom, you've got a bracket right here, and I've already stuck it in, but you might want to unbolt one side of the top and kind of lift it up just barely, and then this will slip in. It's got a lip on the back side, which keeps it from coming out. You've got urethane spacers. Urethane spacers are going on the inside of this to keep this from rubbing up against your top. It makes it real super tight so that your Rotapax can doesn't cause this thing to bounce back and forth on the rack. So let's go ahead and install this real quick and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, when we put that Rotapax on there, that's going to look really nice. I actually think I'm going to do another one here too so I can put two two gallons and two 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 gallon gas and two two gallon water for when we go on our overlanding trips. And then we're planning on taking our motorcycles with us on the back of the Bronco. We're getting a double motorcycle rack that goes into the receiver. The motorcycles are just light enough to be able to put both of them on the back of this. Or not really exceed that tongue rating too much. So, uh, but anyway, that'll give us the fuel that we need for the motorcycles without having to carry it in the vehicle. Your Rotopax does not come with this bracket, but the bracket will accept a Rotopax mount and a Rotopax fuel can. Or like what we did, we actually just went generic and we got a generic bracket and we got a generic fuel tank, which we actually really love, and we'll talk about this more later. Those links will be down in the description. This whole package right here was less than $100 just for the accessory. Uh, this guy right here was an addition to the rack. 
You can take your fuel can off, and if you didn't want to put a Rotapax fuel can on it, or water can actually, there's lots of different mounting areas where you can put, you know, things that'll fit Molly, uh, standard bolt mounts here. Now you'll notice that we did not put the wind deflector on yet, so let's go ahead and put that on now. And there you go, we got the wind deflector on and the side caps right here. The side caps actually fill in the gap here. Makes it look really nice. So let's take it one better. Badass Tents logo. Let's take it one better. And there you go, light bar. So we put a light bar on it, put our Alpine Garage sticker on it, uh, Badass Tents sticker on it. I think we're good to go. So that is the Badass Tents Bronco Rack with wind deflector. We also put that accessory bracket on the back as well. We're ready for a trip out to the backcountry of Colorado, which will be coming up soon. So check out Badass Sense down in the description below. So far we like it, it looks good, it feels good. Now we're gonna go out and use it and give you real feedback on it. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage.